Run up the sail! Seagull! Alfred's power, where Hawkshed stains my boots. I will find the man in white in their god's house. This must be the house of their timid god. They built him a rich dwelling. The Lord takes the best of us to sit beside him. Bishop Aylford, he is not with God. He is locked in the flaming crypt where all heretics go. Oh, don't hear you. Et dixa ad eos rabscaios Andreas Dominus Noster, et cia ita est, quod es trebent ocasini iresorium pabulum, reprabiant delicta. Do you have a moment to speak of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus, the light of the world? For a coin, I will tell you his story. Here, yeah, spend it well. You honor the Lord's great deeds with your charity. For God's spirit breathed on the waters, and in the Jordan River, Jesus was cleansed of all sin. A holy river? On the mountain, he walked with his disciples. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. Balder, too, is bright as the sun. At his tomb, the earth shook, and an angel appeared, asking them why they looked for the living among the dead. He has risen! A stirring saga, old man. Use that coin I gave you for bread rather than ale. Ibien campo into septimo de luculo electae. Even the most and God's servant, the bishop. A Dane treads the cobbles of God's house. In search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It is you I've come to see. Is that so? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. 
You know these words, and you know why I speak them. I do, but I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. As Jesus said unto Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. Why deny the pleadings of an unwashed pagan who aches to know God? Take me as I am, and I will do your Lord's bidding. How great is the burden of learning for one so unworthy. But I see that no amount of instruction in the Lord's words will save your soul. Come. I solved your riddle. Now all I get is silence. Who am I to meet? Shh. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. Yet men become wise by speaking with other men. They grow foolish in keeping to silence. Hush. Your prattling offends God's ears. We're here. May Christ, whose terror scares away the foul throngs, make with me a strong covenant. Was God's lesson instructive? I learned that your God fears death, just as mine do, just as every man does. Yet through our Lord, we may achieve life everlasting in his glorious presence. Perhaps you missed that detail. Do all the priests in Winchester have this same skill for drama? You risk your life, Alfred King. I have invited you here to speak on equal terms. Do the Dane laws of hospitality not apply in Wessex? You gifted my Jarl to that wealth from the Order of Ancients, the warrior Fulke. Fulke was an enemy of Wessex. But it seems someone has already removed her threat from my lands. If you did not hear it was me, you have now. Impressive. The Order of Ancients has surely been crippled by her loss. How much do you know of this Order? Only this, and little more. This letter, signed by one who calls himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ, warns of a plot against my life. The Gallows, the Quill, the Sikhs. Three men eager to kill you. Two now. The Bishop Aelferth is dead. He was the Sikhs, so far as I can tell. And a humble servant of your guard. That must sting. Still, his death has strengthened Christian fellowship in Winchester. I pray the deaths of his colleagues will do the same. You have faced warriors like me many times before, and many times you have lost or been cheated. Why trust me now? I have men in London and Jorvik. Men who send me reports on the rise and fall of the tides of war. Not long ago, men and women of some influence were murdered in those places. In oddly specific circumstances. When I received this letter from our poor fellow soldier, it did not take long to work out why. I don't know your motive, nor what you hope to gain. All I ask is that you finish the work you have begun, before these fallen souls infest England further. I should let the Order kill you. It would speed our conquest of England. You may remove the organs of state. The cancer will remain. Then promise me a reward I can sing about, a healthy king's weight in silver. Very well. As much as you can carry. This morning, my Reeve, Goodwin, 
was not at his post. A man you trust. Goodwin was following the clues given in this letter when he disappeared. Where was he last seen? At his house, by the West Gate. You may find something there. Eivor, compose yourself while you are my guest. My city is not a battlefield. Not yet, great king, but the day will come. Find this Reeve Goodwin. on him arresting Alfred's man. Who rules in Winchester anyway? Is Alfred king or not? You die now! thrown in the fire. Goodwin covering his tracks, other guards destroying evidence. Disagrees with Alfred educating the people of Winchester. I shall win the struggle with the guards. They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison.
must ring the bell. Aim for that finish! Dead fast. Walls and thicker guards, a place to keep a valuable man. A Dane in Winchester? These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was. And you are the man I've come to find, Goodman. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I will find your research. Now go before they find their wolf has fled his cage. Let's regroup beyond the walls!
Ancients research against the Order of Ancients. I am grateful for your help. It is a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favorite Reed. This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They are dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name does not rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop, Aelfirth, was the sixth. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun groper. I found this nailed on a door. The quill wheels words like a knife. A disputation of tutelage. Pretty chatter with poisoned intent. I will look into this more. The gallows. What do you know of him? Must be another reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice. And this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. The gallows had you arrested, so he must command the law. Reeve Selwyn. Of course. That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester, executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor. <laughs> 